Hello everyone, I'm Jake! And I'm Hannah, and welcome to Jake Reads Your Comments! We're gonna read so many of them, the whole yeah. bunch of them. Half a bushel. Wait, how much is a bushel? You know, I've is never been number? clear on that. It just makes me think of like a basket of apples, but like, uh, that's not... Okay, roughly half a basket then. Okay. Yep, half a From... basket of them. Uh, these, many of them, come from our Discord. You can find a link to it in the description. The first comes from Harvey Mann from Jensen Den. When are we going to start a commune? Oh, a commune. When and where? Hmm, when and where? When and where should we start a commune? I did say not too long ago in a tweet that maybe I could talk more of my friends into moving out here where housing is cheap and we can slowly reverse gentrify the area and make it a commune over time. What do you How think? Are... What do you think? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Come in here and say, hey, hey, you kids, quit with your colon beans. Quit with your weed. Quit with your happiness. Quit with your really fun block parties where Papa Jake is the master of the grill and everyone else... Just sits back and enjoys their time. What are they going to do? It's, it almost sounds like you want social feudalism where you are the the king oh, of no, the... Oh, no. God, no. That's too much responsibility. Like, someone else can be the lawnmower guy that's got the real straight lines. Like, uh, someone could be into arts and crafts. Uh, what would you do for the community? What would be your... I'd stay out um, of it, which I, I'd stay out of it, which I think is the most benefit I can add to any community. Okay, it's a terrible cop out. It's a terrible cop out. You're in charge of cheese collection. Uh, you have to collect can... and curate the best and finest of cheeses. Okay, I can do that. There you go. See, you got fun. talents. Cheese monger. You've got talents, and then that cheese could end up somewhere near my grill. And there we go. We've done it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Would you live in a commune though, for real? Like, like, think about a commune, think ideally. I don't know if I'm into that. I don't know. I'm super into it. I don't think I could. I live in the greatest commune in the world. It's called society. Shut up. We live in a society. I think communes sound good on paper until you have to interact with everybody in the community every day. Not a fan. Doesn't sound good. You've seen Waco. I was going to say, I think that's why there were so many wars throughout history. I mean, we still have wars, but they're usually, you know. For money and capitalism. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's just like, oh, there's Bob. I've seen him every day for the last 30 years. Time to go to war. It's time for a crusade. That's actually how William Bob. Wallace got famous. He's like, I, I don't like my neighbor. So... That's four. True. That's cool. Technically that's true. true. So, uh, yeah, there you go. History. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I'd like. I don't think most people would end up actually enjoying a commune. Some people absolutely would, but sure. I don't I, like. I kind of, I kind of like the idea of like, I like the independent space of a home. I like that being where you can be. Yeah. Be. I don't know. I don't want to live with your bullshit. I don't know. There's probably someone out there just something just... I just don't really want to deal with that. You know? Actually, yeah. actually, I was, was thinking about this the other day. You, you want to know the best way to start an argument with a large group of people? Oh, God. Dec Go for it. Dec and it's not not political. The It's a non-political way to do it. Okay. All right? Ask everybody how they wipe their ass. It'll be just mayhem in like yeah. 35 seconds. Everyone does it wrong except for how you do it. Because it's your ass. Okay. I just got a bidet. Uh, so. uh, well, I don't care. That's not really wiping your ass, is it? Spraying it. So it's the it's, it's a step in the wiping process. Helps clean that shit out, literally. <sighs> uh, is it high pressure? Does it does it break the seal? It does not break the seal, well, but it's it not is for pretty, me. It I, feel like high it needs, I feel like it needs to be more. It I needs like, to get in there and yeah, I feel like I feel like if it's it not out. itching my colon a little bit more. A lot of colon talk between the. Uh, yeah. If it's not, it maybe, maybe I should go check. Uh, it's if there's not like, I feel like it needs to debride almost. Yeah, like really, really get that, get that off of there. I wash my ass, but I feel like I don't wash it, like power washer would wash it. So, it just helps. 
for me, because I, I tend to have, and this is too much information, but we're going to talk about Let's it. talk about your dumps. I, I have very sticky poos. Sticky? That, like, uh, Hold on. Let's see why people get sticky poos. Why is my poop sticky? I'm pretty sure it's lack of fiber. Sticky I need poop more can fiber. be a symptom of temporary or chronic digestive disorder or a result of a diet that can, contains too much fat. Sticky poop can appear greasy and pale or dark and tarry. <laughs> <laughs> Tori. Uh, if you have other symptoms such as gas or abdominal cramps, talk to your doctor to determine a cause. Is it bad if your poop is sticky? Oh, it could be I... proper digestion. Um, could be that your pancreas makes uh, sticky poops. I think um, part of it is I, I drink like half a two liter of, of Coke Zero every day, and I think, think it's bad for me. Does, is that aspartame or something in yeah. there? Yeah. Does that make your poop sticky? I think it makes your 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 body doesn't know how to digest. So if we very if well. you were to shit, say from a helicopter onto another helicopter, it would be like shit napalm, and we could take that helicopter out. Yeah, true. Mine are median thick, so let's just say I know my limit. Next question, please. Yes, please. Iron Gullet says, do you think we'll be able to get real progressive change in the country without some kind of revolution and just through the current system? Like, I'm voting for Biden, but I'm mad about it. Well, since I'm your best shot, and I just talked about poop. Nah, we're fucked. We're fucked. Uh, actually, real answer, yes, I do believe it happens through the system. I don't think revolution's conceivable or realistic. Uh, I think, like, don't get me wrong, and that doesn't mean not without action, right? Like, like the stuff in Portland and stuff is good, the, the BLM movement's good, like, the riots and stuff, and, and uh, mostly the, the, you know, uh, exercise of your first amendment and ACAB, but, um... Uh, no, I, I genuinely do think that uh, there are there are actions that people are taking that are very very good. Um, they weren't listening to you when you, the, the black population, uh, were like, "Hey, uh, we are experiencing human rights violations," uh, and here is a list of those. Um, they just you know killed your black leaders and uh, took guns away from Black Panther members and. Uh, put crack in LA and, you know, oh, beat Rodney King, stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, it still happens, but then there's like a big spike in that again. You're like, hey, cops. Can we start at cops? Cops, our experiences with cops are very negative, supremely negative. And then that happens in like 2016 or so, and people are like, no! And then... Something about George Floyd, I think it was the, the combination of smug cop slowly killing a person with his knee and just, like, the boiling over of, like, COVID and, like, the just the timing of it in general and just all of it, like, Ahmaud Aubrey happened and Breonna Taylor and, I don't know, like, um, which I believe was shortly after, but, like, just, just kind of the whole thing and just everyone was just like, you know what, fuck this shit. And you hit him where it hurts. They don't care about empathy. There's no sympathy. A lot of people are racist. They don't care about your lived experiences. Like, you already got those people on your side. You burn down their fucking Wendy's and they lose their shit. And they're like, we got to do something about police. And you're seeing yeah. a massive shift in support for BLM and stuff like that. And not just BLM, but BLM is like... Like, that's a, that's a domino. That's a domino that you desperately need. You have to make people understand both the the class and race issues that, that reside in that specific conversation. And a lot of people have been awoken to the reality of people's lived experience through that. The trans dialogue is a big part of this. Uh, Obergefell v. Hodges was a big part of this when it happened. Like, there's lots of things happening right now where people are learning especially white, heterosexual, cisgendered people that are men, uh, us, me, um, they're learning that they're not the fucking center of everything. They're learning that they're not n the norm. They just happen to be a lot of people and that other people exist. And just that zeitgeist shift, that's what you need. You need people to be just cognizant of that. It'll happen slowly and painfully, 
it's shitty like that. But there's going to be a point in time, probably not this next election, uh, whether Biden wins or loses, doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm, I'm voting for Biden as well and hoping that uh, if he is in fact guilty of the things he is uh, 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 seemingly credibly accused of, he immediately gets impeached and whoever the vice president is takes over. I don't know who that would be. Um, but if he if he did these bad things, uh, then yeah, fuck him. I don't care about him at all. I literally don't care about him. Donald Trump is worse though. Um, and I, I can't, I can't, I just can't let more people get hurt if I can, in a purple state, try to prevent that. So, um, we can talk about that more around election time if you want harm reduction, which I think is important. However, it's way more important than my, whatever you consider my dignity to be. Um, again, I think, I think the zeitgeist is moving in a direction where people, even libertarians are like, moving away from this Republican stuff because they're getting pretty authoritarian and are like, eh, you know, whatever you guys want to do. I don't really want to pay for your health care, but, like, socially speaking, we should defund the police. I agree with you. We're spending way too much on police, and we could make that job different. We could uh, just let trans people exist. We could, uh, you know, we could get we could get away from this racism that's really ho- holding us back. Like, a- honestly... The guy with the boot on his head, Vermin Supreme, one of the most reasonable libertarians I've ever heard talk. Isn't that wild? <laughs> Isn't that wild? you have anything to add to this? Like, do you think we can get th- without revolution? Because I sure do. Because I don't think we, we have, I don't think we're capable of revolution. Yeah, and even if we did, it would be bad. Um, no offense to any revolutions that have happened, but I don't think any revolution has ever happened that turned out great for people in the short or the long term. Like, I just want to point that out. Even shit like the American Revolution ended up fucking, like, certain people over. Like, for instance, slavery would have ended sooner in the Americas had that not happened. Yep. You know, uh, I'm just saying there's always a give or take and uh, revolutions tend to end badly. Ask Robes Pierre. Didn't end up well for him. I think he ended up getting his head cut off, too, after his little reign of terror. But uh, I don't know. Things are complicated. Government and governance is complicated. And there's a reason that our system is put into place is to create slow change. Doug me wrong. There are things that are true and need to obviously be overhauled. The rights of people because of their race or gender identity or sexuality need to be enshrined. Absolutely. Um, But like the fact that things change slowly in our system was by design, even though it's not always optimal It doesn't mean you need to tear the entire system down. I think that you can make both social and economic changes for the better for this country without literally, you know, changing the entire governmental structure. I understand being disillusioned with electoral politics. I get it. Um, It doesn't feel like, you know, it doesn't feel super representative, but I mean, like, you know, Bernie was a means to an end. He's not like the only thing that I got going for me in, insofar as my political beliefs, right? Like, yeah. I'm not a Bernie or Buster, I, and I don't think anyone should be. It's not about one guy. It's certainly not an old guy who's progressive in the United States, but like, it's not like it's not like what a lot of us are talking about all the time. So I don't know. Like, I think I think we need to. <laughs> We need to make sure that we're we're keeping things in perspective. We uh, I, I mention this all the time when we talk about uh, uh, electoral politics specifically, but like we live in a society where I can like grab my phone and and get satiated pretty much however I want in any way, uh, within within like an hour. Yeah. Name a thing, and I could probably find that on my phone on the internet somewhere, and I could I could get that done. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's legal or not. And, like, so we're a very satisfied, even even people that are poor are relatively satisfied, and we get things very quickly. Like, if I need food, I can get food. Uh, if we need, if I need some something I don't need, like a Red Bull, I can get that. Um, these little luxuries are just, like, very quick for us. And then news on Twitter and stuff, like our fees, we have to be constantly, like, fucking stimulated. We gotta, like, you might be doing this and playing video games right now, you know what I mean? Like, you you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be constantly doing something. And for, (laughs) 
with all that in mind, we got we got this political system that takes like fucking eight years to get stuff done. It could feel really bad, so I get it. Don't get disillusioned though. Part of revolution, if that's what you think you're doing, part of revolution is participation within the system until you can no longer justify it. So, moving on. Ben Farthing, thought, whoa, Farthing? Ben Farthing, Farthing. asks. What is evil? Is it even a valid concept outside of the framework of a religion where a deity dictates right and wrong? Am I overthinking this? Saying evil equals real bad seems reductive and useless, in my opinion. I don't think evil exists. I think evil... Evil exists to as a descriptor of how bad we think a thing is. I don't believe in cosmic evil. I believe you can validly say X is evil, but I don't think it means objective evil. No, uh, evil, evil exists in a social way, in a social context. Yeah. Like groups of people can agree. Like I think everyone here would agree, uh, you know, like assaulting a child, that's evil. We all believe that and understand yeah. that. However, it doesn't mean that there's some cosmic force that says when right. you do something to a child, it is evil. It's that we all understand collectively, this is an evil act. Therefore, we yeah. should do our best to, you know, refrain from it happening to stop people from doing it. I think evil makes sense out of religion as well. Um, but uh, it just, it like, it doesn't need religion to to be a thing. But it would need... Uh, uh, at least an outside source of morality to determine these things doesn't necessarily need a religious belief, but yeah. So other than that, like, yeah, I, I just think it's a word. It's a literary term. It's mostly literary. You don't hear a lot of people saying the word evil day to day, unless they are religious nuts, right? So, like, it's just kind of it's kind of a cool word. That's it. That's that's the whole thing. I also don't believe counter to that. I don't believe in objective good either, so or any or any sort of objectivity insofar as the ethics or morality of a thing are. However, I can I can definitely say that we can understand what is more or less ethical. Yeah. So Well, some of us can. Factual Jake asks, what's the best non food <laughs> use for corn? Yeah. This is uh my doppelganger. So um <laughs> What's the best non-food use for corn? I mean, corn is in, like, fucking everything. It's in all the things all the time. However, I gotta say... Probably... I can't imagine there's any natural food or non-food. It's just a plant in general that would give you a booty hole itch better than a cob. If you can take it, that's probably that's got to be the best. You ever had one of those earwax scoopers? Like they go in your ear and you pull them out and they sort of itch the inside of your ear. No. Oh well, you sh first of all you should try that because it's divine. Um, you've never you've never experienced this kind of pleasure in your ear in in your life, and you deserve it, and you should treat yourself. And plus, you're probably very waxy in that scenario, so you get all the wax out. But I feel like it'd be that, but for your bunghole. You ever get you get itchy bungholes? You got sticky poops. You just talked about it. You definitely get an itchy butthole. Every I have a day now. I'm fine. But what if you could? What if you could? Much like the noble Lufa, give yourself a little exfoliation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to exfoliate my asshole. Mm -hmm. It could work. Fine. What's your answer? To the what's the best non food use for corn? Yeah. Those were wood burning stoves where you can like get like kernel burners? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Or like a smoker that you can get like different stuff to burn in and it adds different flavors. Hmm. Best non use non food use. Does it count if I say the corn husks that go around tamales? You don't eat those. It is food related, but not food. I was gonna say I use I said for like smokers, which it's not True. like food, but it's being used to burn and True. cook. Food. 
So. Uh, I mean, corn makes also. Don't they make plastic out of corn and shit. They make ethanol. Like, yeah. I mean, corn is a miracle food. Cobby's corn chat. is your thing. I'll handle tin foil questions. You can again. You can wrap corn in tin foil. It's fine. All right. That's a hot dog, by the way. That's technically a hot dog. So, continuing on. Taco two 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 says, "Dear Corn Star and Hannah." Is the solution to defund the police or to implement reforms like on Campaign Zero or both or something different? I want to have the correct stance. Please help. Oh, God. <laughs> well, want to have the correct stance. I mean, I hope you're fishing elsewhere as well. My uh, my idea is uh, uh, it's effectively defunding the police. Um, the police wouldn't exist how it exists today. Be Most people are talking about taking the police, getting rid of pretty much every officer, and then if they want to stick around, retraining them for whatever um, with a reasonable amount of training time. Uh, more than a hairdresser, let's say. And uh, making them making them into different branches more specialized for the things at hand. You can have traffic cops, though I don't like them. Um, but they shouldn't be getting out and doing uh, uh, traffic stops, really. What should be happening is they should be... Um, you know, tallying these infractions and making sure that people stay safe and responding to road accidents, not necessarily, you know, making sure someone's not going 35 into 25 when it's 3 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's that, who's that protecting? Nobody is the answer. It's not protecting anybody. Um, the speed limits are there for a reason. Speed well, limits sure. Are I'm not saying just let them go Mad Max on that shit, but I'm also saying, like, let's put some fucking contact. It's, it's I mean... If you're if you're ticketing somebody for going a little bit over a neighborhood at, at like one a.m. or some shit, it's I mean, you're just taxing people. It's just another way to tax, and that is the that is the case. They do base a lot of the revenue on this kind of stuff. So, um, which I find unethical. You know, routine traffic stop, of course, in the United States because the Second Amendment can lead to all sorts of fucking bad shit. So uh, consider that um, we're always packing heat. And, 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 and I don't know, have you considered that that's not exactly the best environment for a police officer? We shouldn't be, we shouldn't really be going up to people's cars and stuff unless we need to. Um, we should really drastically lower that, get rid of all nonviolent drug offenders, get rid of just decriminalized drugs in general, but definitely move more towards social work and social outreach. These people should be parts of their community. I strongly believe that if you are the wherever you patrol or work at and so far as your policing whatever branch you happen to be in however that ends up getting uh, determined you should live within a certain radius of that spot, space like physically you need to, your house needs to exist there or you can't have a police job there like like you need to be part of the community people need to know your name people need to know your face there needs to be trust mutual trust that you are here to both protect and to serve, not to shoot my friend, uh, if 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 they happen to have like a like a bottle cap gun or something, and they're they're playing in the street. I don't know what the fuck's going on. There's 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 you know not dying due to being a little bit of uh, more Melanie than they like. So yeah, I I think break it up into specialized group. People talk about uh, domestic abuse. People talk about. Uh, uh, like, they come out for animal stuff sometimes, just shoot the fucking thing. Like, what the fuck is that for? I don't know. Is there anything specific that you've heard is, like, a like a different or better, or is that kind of where you're at, too? That's pretty much where I'm at, yeah. I agree. Community pre policing initiatives, retraining, basically starting from the ground up in terms of hiring and making sure you reform hiring policies to ensure that you're getting, like, yeah. intelligent, thoughtful people who aren't going to, you know power trip uh yeah. stuff like that and also i think the, their their hours are pretty fucking bonkers like we could fix that in most in yeah. most places where you know again because their job is so broad yeah. it's a hard job and and like i don't know someone um i was watching a streamer named sequisha yesterday it was really great and um uh, he doesn't usually do politics or anything. He usually just plays video games. But uh, he was talking. He made a really, really good point that I've heard before, and just other people need to hear it. Um, like, you know, 
insofar as police brutality is concerned. Like, cops are trained, not well, but they're trained how to arrest somebody, and, and to, that's a normal experience for them and stuff. But no one's trained on how to get arrested, and not that they need to be, just that, like, there's a big population of people that are like, why don't you just comply, do exactly what they tell you to do, or or you deserve to be shot. Like, that is so incredibly toxic for a population of people who don't get arrested every day, are yeah. getting physically harmed, have been taught that self-defense is not only good and valid, but part of their amendment like guarantees like i don't know i don't know it just seems it seems incongruent with the with any sort of constitutional belief to think that the police can have as much power as they do so i'm against it and then the last comment from chapoman says dear hannah and jake one of the reasons religious folk argue against concepts like evolution is the idea that humans are different than other life on the earth so if evolution is true, that would make humans a type of animal. Why doesn't this idea that humans are about the natural world not, ab- not apply when the same folk argue against LGBTQ plus by saying, quote, it's not natural, which isn't true. We're seeing something similar with COVID-19 arguing against wearing a mask or social distancing as nature takes its natural course. Why is that we are better than nature than nature world? When it comes to philosophy and woo-woo feels, but not when it comes to being able to shape our society, saving lives and taking care of the earth, because they're hypocrites. They're also hypocrites, but uh, because it's it's more complicated, like, than God told you to do X, right? Like, yeah. as far as the uh, it's not natural thing, I mean, they have passages and saying, like, don't sleep with a man as if they were a woman or whatever. Um which I still think means don't fuck your boyfriend in his vagina, Um, which, sorry, it's the one time, it's the one time trans men aren't excluded from the conversation. (laughs) 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 Uh, (laughs) um, But, uh, yeah, there's there's a combination of, a lot of factors going in here. Hypocrite is absolutely one of them. Another thing is cult of personality from Donald Trump and the like the Fox like machine, how that works. It's like it's very not cool and it's all like they've made not being a liberal a personality. Like whatever anyone left of them does that's the bad if you do that unless it's like something immutable like patriotism where you can't strip that away of course although they they mean it totally different than i mean it when i say patriotism but whatever but uh you know you gotta fuck you gotta fuck the american flag without without touching it you know what i mean hands free fap at the at the american flag can't disrespect it but you gotta give it you gotta let it nut so uh it's 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 a weird one. Um, the mask thing is a combination of people being just fucking illiterate, basically, on both social and scientific matters. Um, and then again, just, just this sort of like, no, you told me to do a thing, so I'm not gonna take that, libtard. Are you gonna cry? You little bit, yeah. you, what are you triggered? You need a safe space? Because I... Oh. <laughs> I got a little coffee waffy. <laughs> the childishness is fucking yeah, ridiculous. It's 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 childish and it's uh it's tantrum throwing. I think a lot of it also has to do with the fact that we're winning. <laughs> like we win all the arguments. They lose all the time on the internet. Yeah. The best the thing they can do is like take it out on the rest of us by not wearing a mask. I think there's some subconscious shit there. Um I don't know. I some right wing people are pretty pretty down with this whole mask thing, which is strange. Uh, I think these are the actual conservative, non fashy people. Yeah, it's weird that the fashy people don't like it when the government tells them to do something, though. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, anything else to add to that? That's uh, it's a it's it's got so much in it. Yeah, I I I don't know. I think. It's basically covered. I I think they're angry children 
in adult bodies who don't like to be told what to do. In adult bodies? How TOS is it to eat a banana? I think it's fine. It fits perfectly in my hand. You're eating it like a rabbit. You're a rabbit. Ew, gross. Okay. That's it, though. That's the end of it. It's actually yeah. a banana. It needs to be ripe a little bit more. I probably, I probably should save that for tomorrow. Oh, well. So you can always follow us on Twitch, uh, at Hannah Reloaded on Twitch, and at Actual Jake on Twitch. You can follow us on Twitter, again, at Hannah Reloaded or Actual Jake. The inside tastes like the outside. <laughs> you can <laughs> donate to our Patreon if that's something that you want to do. Link in the description. We also have a Discord where some of these came from. Yep. Go check it out to get notifications when we go live on Twitch and when we put out new videos and all that kind of stuff. Indeed. Um, I think that's that's it. That's the I whole think. all of it. Yeah. Yep. So you guys can go hang out. Uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some some Norris related activities coming up. Yeah. It's gonna be a good time. Enjoy it. Looking forward have, to it. I have to prepare for my Twitch stream. You have a corn suit. Mine's very cool. We should invent a game that's like rock, paper, scissors, but it's corn, tin foil, and we gotta come up with a third thing. Clume. <laughs> <laughs>